Howdy folks and welcome to the Hillbilly Kitchen. Today we're baking glazed carrots. Now glazed carrots is a really simple recipe and it's a good one for uh, holidays especially. I'm making these for Easter. Uh, Easter is a good time for carrots. I mean, it kind of goes with it. But um, it's really just a few very, very basic ingredients. You obviously need carrots, and I'm doing a pound of carrots, two tablespoons of honey, two tablespoons of butter, and something you can add if you've got if you've got it. If you don't have it, you don't necessarily have to put it in there, but a tablespoon of lemon juice adds a little extra to them, and a little salt. Now, you can add pepper and parsley and all that stuff, but you don't need all that stuff. And to get these started, we're just going to put them in a pot, cover them with enough water for them to boil, and add our salt in. I'm using about half a teaspoon of salt or so. You don't have to use that much, and you really don't even have to put salt in these if you don't want to. Let them boil with the salt in there, and then we're going to drain them when they get tender. Now, the very first time I ever had these, we were visiting my Aunt Paula, and it was Christmas time, and I did not eat carrots when I was a kid. <laughs> And I was helping clear the table off, and I carried the empty bowl in that she had had the glazed carrots in, and I asked her what they were because they were so good. I absolutely loved them. And she had used whole carrots. I've got some baby carrots, and she sliced them in pieces about this long and then quartered them, so they didn't really look like carrots. And uh, she said they were carrots, and I was like, no way, I don't eat carrots. And she looked me dead in the eye, and she said, little girl, if you put enough sugar in it, kids will eat anything. <laughs> so that's if you have kids who are picky eaters, maybe sweetening the vegetables just a little bit until they start trying them is a good way to get them to try more vegetables. I had no idea I was eating carrots. I now love carrots. I eat them in everything under the sun or just plain, eat them raw, eat them in salads and everything. And I pro might not have ever eaten carrots if she hadn't made some sweet carrots at Christmas and I didn't know what they were. So that's maybe, you know, something to think about if you got them picky eaters. You want to kind of let your carrots boil, cook over a medium high heat. I don't usually cook anything over a real high heat because it can cause scorching on the bottom even if you're boiling something. So bring them to a boil and then do like a medium high until they're tender and you just let them cook until you can get a fork in them and they'll fall off the fork. And once you get to that point we're going to drain them. Now we're going to return them back to the heat and add in our butter and our honey and our lemon juice and we're just going to let it cook until it has a nice glaze on it. And this stuff will turn into a glaze. And like I said, you can add in other stuff. You can add a little pepper, you can add a little parsley. But if you're trying to get picky kids to eat it, I wouldn't add anything green into it because for some reason, picky kids don't like green. You wanna kinda keep an eye on them here because you don't wanna scorch your glaze. So don't like run off and leave them while you're melting your butter and your honey together and stuff. And toss them around, stir them. You don't have to like stir them constantly. But, you know, keep an eye on them. And you do want to get all the carrots coated good in the glaze. And while we're letting our glaze cook, because it is Easter, I want to share Romans 5, 8 with you. But God commandeth his love toward us. In that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Easter is the time when we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord. When we recognize his sacrifice and his victory over death and sin. If you are bound in one of those dark places if your guilt and shame from the things that you have done in your life 
are tormenting you. That is why Jesus died. That was the reason for his sacrifice. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us so that we could be forgiven through his sacrifice, through what he did for us on the cross. We can have forgiveness and freedom, freedom from all of our guilt, all of our shame. That's what it means to be saved is forgiveness and freedom from that. And once you take that to God, once you ask him to forgive you for the things that you have done and you put your faith in his son and the sacrifice and the resurrection, all that is gone. It's not you anymore. And you can have a living relationship with your loving creator and be made whole and not have that darkness and that weight in your life anymore. So if you are looking for that, it's just a matter of believing in what Christ did for us, believing that God loved you and loves you even though you have done bad things. Talk to God. Ask Him to forgive you. Ask Him to take that from you. Tell Him you believe in His Son and the sacrifice on the cross and His resurrection. Give your life to Him and He will set you free. And He will make you a new creation that has a right and loving relationship with Him. Let this Easter be the start of the new you and a new life with Christ. Our glazed carrots are done. It's literally just as simple as cooking it. The glaze will be slightly brownish yellow. These are just the perfect side dish for any dinner. I said I think especially for Easter. And the glaze makes them all nice and shiny and they smell so good. If you're trying to disguise them instead of the baby carrots, the baby carrots though are kind of cute for Easter, use the whole carrots like my Aunt Paula did. Just cut them about that long and then quarter them and it kind of disguises them. It's harder to tell what they are. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us in the Hillbilly Kitchen. If you haven't already, please don't forget to click like and subscribe before you leave. Share our videos with all your friends. And until next time, Remember to put God first.